<clears throat> okay, we're back. Um, I'm doing it in different segments for you. That way you, um, here's what I would recommend. When you see the, the recipes, make sure that you wash them all first, okay? Write down the ingredients that I use and the quantities. Be prepared, you know, prepare yourself and then do your um, dish, okay? All right, so I've got the water boiling. That is from the juice that I strained, okay? Can't, yeah, it's too hot right now. I can't pick it up. But anyway, that's the juice. Let me show it to you because I think it's interesting to see the color. It's very rich in color. See it? It's like an orangey, rich color. Okay, now you... Um, I'm trying to let that boil again, which I did, and I stick a cover on there to make sure I seal it so that it boils, okay? All right, so while it's doing that and bubbling, I took out all of the stuff from the strainer, the chicken, the, the carrots, the celery, everything. You could also add potato in there too, which I didn't, I forgot to do. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I usually like to put potatoes in the beef soup ones, but that's okay. You can always do that, all right? You can also put other types of vegetables in there too. Um, you know, it's gonna change the flavor of the soup. This is the traditional way that I know how to make it, okay? Um, afterwards, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take part of it, like half of it, and I'm gonna cut it up in tiny pieces, all right? Even the chicken, all the vegetables and everything. And then I'll put it in a separate dish. For those that want to put a couple of spoonfuls in their soup and have it with the vegetables and the chicken will be able to do that. Others who don't want the vegetables and they only just want a piece of chunk of chicken, then that's what they're going to have, okay? So I try to keep it, you know, variety. All right, so it's boiling now, okay? So now remember, I'm using their orzo rice, okay? But... You can use regular rice, like a medium grain rice. You can use alphabet soup. So you can use other types of, um, you can use noodles, like whole noodles in the soup. You can use whatever you want, okay? So I'm gonna use, oops, I need to drop it on the floor, but I'm gonna use this kind right here, all right? That's what I'm gonna use. Before I do that, I wanna taste the soup because remember we didn't put any salt in there from the beginning because I put the two bouillons in there right and there's a lot of salt in that okay so it does have salt okay but not to my taste now I can put in there however much salt I want to put in there because remember we're putting in the noodle orzos. That's gonna absorb some of the salt too and give it flavor as well, okay? All right, let's mix that up. I'm gonna put a little bit more pepper. And that's it, I think that's all it needs. And then I will taste again for salt uh, after the noodles are done, okay? After the little orzo noodles are done. All right, I'm gonna put the rest of the box that I had already opened up. That's probably, if you want a soup that is a light in the noodles, that's all you need, probably. My family likes, when they take a spoonful, they wanna take a spoonful of the noodles. And I do have enough um, soup to be able to, um, I left half in here. Remember, I do three-fourths for my family. I'm going to stir it around just for a few seconds because I don't want it to settle to the bottom and burn, right? So I'm going to do that for a little bit and get them. And I'll probably do that a few times. And this kind of helps me see how much how much orzo I have in there, if I have to add more and so on, okay? Um, I'm gonna let that cook, all right? And when the orzo is ready, 
I will prepare another video, and it'll be the last video, um, the egg lemon sauce that I'm going to stick in there, okay? So I will, I will set up everything here and show you and teach you how to do the Greek lemon soup, uh, orzo, or Greek lemon, uh, lemon, whatever you want to call it, avgolemono, egg lemon soup, and, um, and then we're done, and then we can have our soup, okay? All right, see you in a bit.